Now through December, the Far South CDC Marketplace will showcase several Black-owned small businesses with products like roasted coffee, handmade candles, wood sculptures, and even women's clothing. And here with more on the Marketplace and with some of the items available for purchase from the Far South Community Development Corporation is Florence Hardy. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having this me. This is just a sample of all the products. Yes. And what I love, the concept is just amazing. Yes. Yes. Before people actually step on out there, yes. you're giving them an opportunity to test it out the market place. Absolutely. Work out all the bugs. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about how, how this all works. Yeah, so this is a retail incubator that we started about two years ago. So we started right at COVID mm. uh, with some funding that we got from the Coleman Foundation. Um, and it's really an opportunity for business owners to try a brick and mortar space mm -hmm. before they get out there on their own because mm. that is a very risky endeavor. Yeah, it is. This allows our business owners to keep working their full-time jobs mm -hmm. so they're not taking the total risk but still understanding what it takes to do accounting, hiring, facilities management because all of those things come along with selling the thing that they want to sell. Okay. So you brought uh, several different vendors with us. Yes. Tell us who you brought. So this is Vessels of the Poor Natero. Okay. I think I said that right. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> uh, the owner is Rita and she is inspired by nature and culture and art and she creates these wood sculptures, mm, other beautiful. objects, as well as these earrings that oh, I am wearing. Oh, yeah. yeah. So she has keychains, all kinds of great things um, that she makes from ebony wood they're made in Africa and the U.S., all handcrafted. Oh, oh wow. So you yeah. come in there and check all of those out. You can do some the decorating of the house. Yeah. Very decorating nice. Great ears, ears everything. Too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Very nice. Very, yeah. I have this in my home. So. Oh, okay. Very nice. All right. This is something that Amy hates or crops. <laughs> I she know. Now, she's now been <laughs> convinced like, after like seeing that. these. Because these are now our custom. These are from Chic Tea Boutique. Okay. Uh, the owner, Tanika, custom makes Crocs, T-shirts, as well as sells other accessories, clothing in her clothing boutique. And this is her. She was in our first cohort. We're now in our second cohort. So she's been with us since last November. Okay. How many yeah. of the companies that have been with you guys have then gone on to open a brick-and-mortar store? So we have one of our businesses now who we'll talk about who is in the process of renovating her own store. Okay. Because you're still yeah. pretty new. Yeah. yeah we're years. still pretty yeah. new. And okay. then it, a grant, I understand, recently that you got allowed you to extend it a little bit longer. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got another grant from the Coleman Foundation that allowed us to extend it. We had a grant from the city of Chicago that allowed us to do it over uh, the fall, the spring of 2022, okay. 2023. Um, so uh, all of these grants that I'm writing are helping to extend the life of this program for uh, these business owners. That's Absolutely. So cool. Okay, let's yeah. move on. What do yeah. you have here? So this is Aries Rising. She does resin journals oh, those are and other ways. accessories. They're very, uh, they're all handmade. And she does sort of a transformational digital program with these as well. So you're not oh, just getting the journal. That. You're getting a transformational program too that will help you change whatever it is that you're looking to change in your life. They and give say you journaling inspiration is to do so. so good for you too, yeah, for absolutely. your mental well-being. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Really yeah. pretty. Well, absolutely. who needs? Everybody needs some coffee. Yeah, throughout everyone the day. needs coffee. This is Javez Java. Cortez is the owner. Uh, this is a family-run business. They get their beans from Mississippi mm. and they roast them themselves and package them themselves. They're coffee beans from Mississippi? Yeah. That's what I said. But mm. um, wow, that's what it is. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's right. Right. <laughs> Do they actually brew too? Like can they, you go in there and get a cup brew. of coffee? Well, you can't at this location because we would need a different license from the oh, city. Got it. Okay. But you can buy it here, and then they'll they'll do a taste test for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you know exactly what you're taking. Exactly. Nice. And they have Obviously. ranges. He says that this one in the front um, is very good for Sunday mornings. Okay. Oh, that's okay. what he talks. And I'm not a coffee drinker, coffee. Okay. but oh, I have yeah. been drinking these. Okay. Oh, from Mississippi. Oh, my goodness. I'm learning something new. Yes. Right. Okay. okay. Finally, candles. Finally, we have Max Candles. So she hand makes all of the candles uh, and all of the other products as well. So it's not just candles, mm. but there's oh, the other wax? good, smelly good stuff. And the wax And the uh, wax. Plate. Melts. I like that. Yep. Yeah, those are great. And this is called Patience. Ooh. Her family actually Ooh. started this oh, business one. after the death oh, of her brother. No, they, she Ooh. found that, um, I know, it smells good. Oh, I love it. Smell really good. Smell really good. Oh, that's, that's called so Patience? Nice. That's called Patience. Oh, yeah, yeah I can smell that. So that's nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. She found that working with candles helped her grieve, helped mm. her do the grieving Aww. process, and she wanted to help others. Mm -hmm. So she created this line of products, and she's the one who's actually renovating her own space right now. It will be located in the Roseland community right off 111th and 12th. Okay. okay. Um, and so we're really excited to see where she goes with her business. Oh, yeah, because then you can actually brag to everybody. Yeah. This is yeah. why you need to come check out the CDS market. 
Martha. Marketplace. Exactly. And this stuff is going to be available now through December. almost the holidays, right? Yep. Right through the holidays, unless we get more funding, and then it'll be available longer. That's okay. a great place to shop All for right. gifts. All right, yes. and, but there are total. So we just saw five here. There's yes. a total of how many? Nine businesses in okay. the in the retail incubator right now. We have scrubs. We have another candle maker. We have CBD products. Uh, so everything is. Most things are handmade. Some are not, like the scrubs, for example. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, every business owner there has the intention of opening their own brick and mortar space. That's Let me so ask you cool. this: Are you also offering Offering them help and advice along the way, kind of like training them about things that maybe they didn't think about or Absolutely. answering questions? Absolutely. So this is an outgrowth of our business services program. We started as a small business development center providing business consulting to business owners. Uh -huh. um, and so even now, even though we're not a small business development center anymore, we still have offer business consulting through the city of Chicago. It's hands-on business consulting. Absolutely. <laughs> like our that. consultants come in. We're right around the corner. They can schedule office hours. We've actually partnered to give them technology training through oh, Go Logic awesome. Solutions. Okay. So we have a wide range of resources. It's not just the space. We want to give them everything they need to succeed. Well, let's well, hope you yeah. get another grant so that yes. you can do this again. Make yes. sure you check out the shops, Far South CDC Marketplace. Uh, you can see the social media handles on there. It is on West 115th Street. Shops are open through December daily from 12 to 6 p.m. That's right. right. Thank, Thank, you so so Thank you so much. Thank you so much.